Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 5. Today we're going to be doing my trailer breakdown for the finale episode, so I'm super excited to talk about this with you guys because it's the finale, man. It's gone so quickly this season. I've loved this season so far, and although I think the villain, Cicada, hasn't been like the best villain, I think Cicada's just been pretty average, like alright, much better than The Thinker. I really like this season. I really, really have. I think it was a massive, massive step up from season four, which I was very disappointed in. And I'm super excited for this finale. This trailer is very interesting. And we know a lot more as to what's happening in the finale than the trailer even tells us. So I guess we'll go over some different bits once we get to some different points in the trailer. So this is episode 22, not 23 episodes this season. That must be noted down. For all of you guys who haven't stayed up to date. Okay, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year and in the summer. So turn on notifications because we're going to be uploading videos all summer long and obviously next week for the review, the breakdown of the episode, and then probably as normal, there's always a cliffhanger, so we'll have an extra video on that probably later in the day. So Let's break down this trailer, so shot number one. In the first shot, we see this door, and this door has Cicada's powers, or Cicada 2's powers, you know, the dampening powers from her hands, not from the dagger, because it seems like the dagger's going to be destroyed, because that's how Reverse Slash, as it was teased at the end of the last episode, is going to get out. So, the dagger's going to be still in the episode, but the power is essentially going to be gone. I think that's what's going to be happening. But yeah, so this door seems like this is where Cicada's been hiding out recently. And so we see this shot of Barry, and so in this shot, Barry is actually talking, and he says, who's ready for the nightmare to end? And he says, we're not going to let metahumans die. So this is obviously in regards to the nightmare of Cicada and her trying to kill all these metahumans. That's the nightmare. He's not talking about reverse flash or anything like that. So... Then we move on to the next shot, and this next shot is probably one of the most exciting shots of the trailer. So this is outside, this is closer to the end of the episode, which is very interesting. Note that down, you see all of Team Flash, apart from Killer Frost, I'm not sure if she's directly by Nora, she could be, or she could be, you know, just not in this scene. But you see Barry and Nora as they're running, and... You know, it's just a great show. It looks really, really nice with their lightning streaking off of them. But this is, in fact, next to the rubble, if you see on the left, of a time sphere. And who came back in the time sphere? No, we're not talking about Cicada 2 because she has no reason to time travel to the future or to get destroyed or, you know, use a time sphere, essentially. So who is it? Who's in the future right now? Reverse Flash. And we know... Thanks to behind the scenes photos and set leaks, we know this is where Reverse Flash is going to meet Team Flash and they're going to have the big final fight of the season there. And we don't know the specifics as to what's going on right there, but he's escaped from the future as it was teased at the end of last episode with the destruction of Cicada's dagger. Nora has been tricked, they've all been tricked, and Reverse Flash is going to be able to get out of his prison and he's not going to die, he's going to be back in present day, and that will set up most likely into Crisis on Infinite Earths, because as you know, Reverse Slash is a massive thing from what they've been teasing since the start of Season 1 for 2024, which is going to change to 2019 because Crisis on Infinite Earths is happening this year for the crossover. I cannot wait. But yeah, so this seems to be like when they're attacking Reverse Flash, so... That's interesting to note because Reverse Flash is not seen in present day in this trailer, but we know from behind the scenes he's right there. Alright, so let's move on. So we see Killer Frost, and over this, they talk about the fact that this is all Nora's mistake. And so you see just on the left, there is the shoulder of Cisco. So I'm not sure if Cisco is going to leave or not by the end of the season, but I think there's a high chance. But I think there's a chance he may stay, so we'll have to wait and see. But Killer Frost is there, and... We move on to the next couple of shots, and in the next shot, Nora actually blames herself for what has been happening. She says, this is all my mistake, and I'm not going to make another one. 
and so she is tearing up and this seems to be pretty late into the episode because she's getting very emotional and it seems like this is in some sort of intense conversation with her mother and father about what she's about to do we're not sure but you know going into the ending of the episode i would hazard the guess and so barry and iris are here you see this shot and nora's right next to them so they look very very concerned for nora okay so let's move on to the next one and you see reverse flash and he's got the cicada dagger in his chest like we saw at the end of the last episode and he's in the machine he's about to die as you can see later in the trailer the guy the guard pulls the lever and i think it's at that point that the dagger breaks it disintegrates and he gets out he kills all of these people and that's when he comes back to 2019 so i just think it was so genius actually that we never thought that maybe the reason why he's been dampened is because he's got the freaking dagger on his chest like we presumed it could be that you know cicada's dagger like shards of it were in the ceiling or something like that it was in the prison but no it's been right in front of us the entire time i thought it was a great plan and it was really well executed because you know team flash is going to help him escape essentially they are playing along with thorn's plans they knew nora was getting manipulated but they didn't know exactly how and they played into his plans once again so that's going to lead to his escape from 2049 and also just quickly we don't know which version of thorn this is like we know that he is the one from crisis on rfx but we don't know like what specific time he's from so he could be from the far distant future or he could be from you know the nearer present or yeah we've had no answers as to specifically where he's from okay so we move on to the next shot and this next shot is again of reverse flash and he's still in there he's got the cicada dagger on his chest and you see the prison guard as he's about to flick the switch and we go shot reverse shot and we see reverse flash and he's sort of staring and i think he knows at this point Yes, Nora's going to do it. Nora's going to find a way, and he's going to be safe. But the thing is, if they destroy Cicada's dagger, I think there's a chance that the timeline might get screwed up all the more. Because, you know, it's very confusing. Because we got a villain from the future, Nora's from the future, she's been instructed from the future. There's lots of ramifications that could go on in this episode. Alright, so we go on to the next shot, and we see young grace and she's with older grace and so young grace is still asleep here but later in the trailer we see that she's finally woken up and she's going to be in the episode at least for a bit i reckon the episode is going to be like maybe half half if i'm being optimistic because i want to see tons of reverse flash obviously um but i think it's more likely to be like 60 percent cicada stuff 40 percent reverse flash later in the episode so like last 15 minutes or so maybe all right so let's move on we see cicada actually dragging nora using her powers her dampening powers through her hands and so it's at that point that we see this shot right here and it looks like grace is actually awake because she's sitting up right here so that's very interesting but nora is in that place in their lair of sorts or their cabin and i'm not sure how they found where she was but it seems to be somewhere quite new as far as i remember i don't remember the exact place okay so we see this reaction shot of barry and barry is freaking out his face has seen something horrifying he is not fine right there and you see the powers of cicada you know swirling around him so essentially he can't use his powers properly at this moment and so cicada grace talks about watch me take yours as in regards to kill your family basically so she as she said last episode your flash family did this to me you know caused everything that happened to my family and now she's going to get revenge as most villains do we see this shot and this is a perspective shot of whoever is on the ground and this is most likely not Barry. It seems like this is probably Nora because Nora's been dragged to the ground earlier in the trailer. She's about to stab 
Nora most likely. So is Nora going to get killed? I think there's a chance in this episode that Nora gets killed, but I doubt it will be at this point. I think it will be more likely that she might get erased later in the episode as in regards to what happens with Reverse Flash later and the timeline changes because, you know, Reverse Flash is very in control of everything that's going on. So, it seems like that could happen potentially later in the episode. Okay, so moving on to the next photo, we see her as she holds it in a very, very psycho-like way. And the final shot of the trailer, we go back to Barry's reaction and he's screaming hard. So this is very reminiscent of, say, when Ralph got killed last season and when Iris was killed in season three. So very, very reminiscent. So it seems like someone's going to die. But who is it? It seems like it's most likely Nora on the brink of death. She's about to get stabbed or something like that. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching this. This has been my finale trailer breakdown, the last trailer breakdown until we go to Comic-Con. I'm potentially going to be going to Comic Con, I got accepted for press, so I'll have a pass, and hopefully I'll be there in the summer in San Diego, I've never been, I'm super excited, so let me know if you are going, and maybe I'll see you guys there, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later, goodbye.